Well, we're here at the IAG Academy Summit with none other than Lloyd Robson, the General Manager Asia for Aristocrat. And Lloyd, we had the IAG Academy IR Awards last night and it was a pretty successful night for Aristocrat. Uh, two awards for Dragonlink. Uh, congratulations, must be pretty happy about that. Yeah, thanks Ben. I mean, first of all, it was a fantastic occasion last night. We were only just talking off air just around the high caliber of people from right around the industry here in Philippines that you know, IAG was able to pull together. Yeah, we're really proud of our awards last night, you know, particularly around the investment that we do put into games, you know, to specifically build for Asia. You know, Dragon Link was a prime example of that. Uh, it's a game, you know, that's really found its way right across Philippines, Macau, Singapore, Malaysia, Cambodia, and even more recently, Korea. So, yeah, super proud moment for the HRG studio that have spent a lot of time really wanting to get a game that was spot on for Asia, and fantastic to see the industry recognise that. You know, it's interesting that, uh, you know, 12 months ago we were here, we had the first IAG Academy IR Awards, and I mean, sorry to bring it up, but Dragonlink didn't win an award last year. I know the team worked hard over the past 12 months, so what was the difference? Well, I think, you know, maybe I'm a bit biased, but I think it's there for everybody to see just around the investments that we've been making in Asia and Philippines, uh, from our product to our people to our infrastructure, and, you know, it really does start with product. You know, we've got nine different studios now building for Asia, Dragon Link sold the headlines last night from a, from a content point of view, but there's many other games, particularly here in Philippines and Singapore, that are top four or five links that maybe don't have the headline as Dragon Link, but it's a testament to our studios and the games they're building. So, yeah, I look forward to seeing where we'll be in another 12 months. I will ask you about you know what else is happening, but just on Dragon Link while we're talking about it, as I say, it's been hugely successful all around the region, uh, from Australia through all of Asia. Mm. Tell me about that game. What is it that sets it apart from other products? Well, look, it's not a one-size-fits-all. It's, it's a clearly a, a world-leading game in the US and Australia. But the game was uh, reconstructed and built purposely for Asia. And it took a very long time, if you have a look, when the game was released in Australia and when it was released in the US. That was the time that Business and HRG wanted to take, I guess, a little bit of pandemic too, to get it right for Asia. Uh, but why is it so popular? I mean, it's just got unique mechanics. It's an easy game to understand. It's a game that has something in it for the mass, the mass gaming player, but as well as the high limit player. And, you know, one of the real uh, shifts that we've seen in the last six to nine months is operators running a Dragon Link link on the mass floor, but also a Dragon Link link in the high limit space. Um, and obviously we know the role of the high limit player around Asia particularly. Mm. Now, obviously, we're here in the Philippines, and I think the attendance this week has sort of shown just how dynamic the industry is here at the moment. What is Aristocrat seeing in the market here in the Philippines? Well, again, I think we've made no secret around our commitment to Philippines. You know, we're one of the, yeah, I think if you go back in time, we were the first to really put people on the ground um, here in the market. And, you know, early coming out of pandemic, we were the, obviously the first to work with PagCore and put in an office and a showroom. And... I think I announced yesterday at the lunch, you know, we're just expanding that facility now and, you know, in two weeks' time that'll be two and a half times the size it was at the start of last year. Uh, and that surprised us, to be honest. We're bullish on Philippines, but the momentum and the, the growth going on led us to fast forward what would have been our next step in an infrastructure sense. Uh, but, yeah, it's happening as, as the panellists have been talking about here, you know, like Manila, Clark, Cebu, out in the, in the more provinces too, you know, I guess... It really does start with Chairman Tenko and his vision and his his uh, expansive thoughts on how to really drive the industry. And uh, as I tend to do these days, I've met some new aristocrat staff this week. It seems to, you know, you keep growing and expanding, and particularly here in the Philippines. Yeah, we actually, last week, we brought 45 of our staff through Philippines to set up what is our new financial year. Uh, and we had a lot of the same speakers you guys have got here on the panel talking to our team to really get them to contextualize and better understand Philippines and two of them were on day one you know Thursday last week was day one for some of them so the piggybacking of our event last week for an internal purpose as well as your event here has been you know brilliantly timed to kind of help accelerate the onboarding but you know they're 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 in roles like sales service and marketing a lot of the areas are we obviously work closely with our customers to provide a better experience. And just lastly, Lloyd, I mean, can you talk a bit about the product pipeline for the Philippines over the next uh, you know, few months, six months or so? Yeah, look, I think everybody saw it at uh, G2E Asia back in May or June. So we've got, wow, we've got four or five links in the pipe. Uh, 
the next one to come out really is Grand Star here in Philippines. So you've got Grand Star, you've got Fortune Harmony, and some of these really build off the success of games like Big Fu Cashbacks and Balju, which these are some of those other games uh, beyond Dragon Link. And we still believe um, there's still a lot of runway for Dragon Link too. And so that's just in a link space and there's a few other standalone products coming too. So we're pretty excited. All right, look forward to seeing it. Thanks, Lloyd. Thanks, Ben.